Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today me and Shelby are out in the pickup with the 22, my old single shot 16 gauge shotgun, and today we're gonna go after some chickens. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> First one of the day. There we go. The old 16 gauge strikes again. <laughs> Still putting food on the table. Up there on the left. See him moving there? Yeah. How close do I get? Hmm? How close do I get? Yeah, you can smack from here if you want. Just put the bead on his head and then just pick up slightly. Hold on one second here. Okay. Oh! I ain't doing that again. <gasps> no? Here, I'll switch you. <laughs> <laughs> No friends, eh? Huh? Got another one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Almost ran that guy over. <laughs> he took great off though. But he's not too far. We went in line right at the base of this big spruce tree here. Let's see if we can walk in here and find them.
He landed in here and went to the left. We found him. There we go. There, that's one more. Head her back out to the truck now. Eh, he can try. Bit of a fart shot. Yeah, he's getting nervous. Only took like a whole clip to get him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going on an adventure. He's gone. We'll see if there's one of his friends. Well, can't get them all, I guess. That's all right. <laughs> I've got uh, a few of the shotgun. Shelby got a couple there with the 22. So now I think it's going to be time to go have a little bit of a break. Go, uh, Hang out one of our ponds there for a bit, clean up our chickens, let the dogs run around, and uh, you'll have a nice little hot dog roast. Come on out, guys. There you go. Get down to your pond. <laughs> hey, pups. Got some hearts? Hey, Rocky. Good boy. Dex, Days. Come on, come get your hearts. Days. Would you like a heart? Here you go, girl. You actually ate it. Dex, you want one? Here you go, buddy. Yummy, yummy. Hey, good boys.
go. Hey buddy, that's my firewood. My firewood, friend. Well, we've been driving around here for a few hours here now. So uh, we decided it was time to stop, have ourselves a little hot dog roast by the fire. So we got a nice little fire going, letting the dogs run around the pond, roasting up some hot dogs over the fire. And uh, yeah, once we're done here, I think we'll hop back in the truck, go down a few more roads, see if we can get a couple more birds. Then we'll slowly make our way back to the house. Well, you guys, we made her home. I uh, went down a couple more roads here and uh, I shot at some chickens, but I missed them. But anyways, one thing that we did find was a bunch of this nice fresh chaga. There's a birch tree there that had a nice big lump on the side of it growing. So we we picked off, I don't know, about three quarters of it off the tree. So I think what I'm gonna be doing here now is we're gonna go inside, clip the wings off of our chickens, get them into a bowl of water, and then I'm gonna make myself some chaga tea. Alrighty, so what I do here with this chaga is I just cut it up into kind of smaller chunks, whatever that is, three quarter to one inch chunks, and then I remove most of that black stuff. Uh, the black stuff to me kind of gives it more of a bitter taste, but I don't get too carried away with it. You know, a little bit of black pieces are still on there, there's still even the odd bark that's on here and stuff so it's no big deal if you guys want to see more of an in-depth video on chaga i'll put a little link up in the corner here that'll pop out you can click on there'll also be a little link in the description below that you can click on but anyways i'm gonna take my handful of chaga chunks here all my leftovers threw into this mason jar i got uh, a little project coming up with that and i got pretty well two bottles of water boiling up and once it comes to a boil I turn it down to like a six and basically I'm just gonna let that simmer for I don't know about 30 minutes or so to really draw out all the flavors and all the nutrients and all that good stuff out of there and then uh, we'll have some tea also with these chunks you can reuse them about three or four times uh, each time the flavor gets a little less and less so uh, yeah once this is we're done here, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea, maybe get a fire going outside and go have a fire. Alrighty, so we've been steeping on this for about 30 minutes now. And it's time to pour ourselves a cup. You see how dark that gets, eh? It's pretty, pretty potent stuff there at first, but boy is it ever good. And then for a little added bonus if you take oh i don't know a tablespoon of honey or so or even just some regular old sugar and throw it in there man it makes this stuff just absolutely phenomenal but uh yeah i'm gonna get my honey in here get her all stirred up and then uh we'll see you guys outside at the fire oh yeah got my nice little fire going here <laughs> and I'm telling you, this fire pit, it's, it's been just phenomenal. I said in an earlier video how uh, this was gifted to me by uh, my dad and our buddy Travis who built this thing. And, man, it's just awesome. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys came along here today and made us up some nice little tea, shot us some chickens. Those chickens will uh, be made into something here tomorrow or the next day. If not, I butcher them all up, put them into the into freezer bags, and uh, put them in the deep freeze for this winter. Don't mind the dogs, they're just out playing. Uh, you know, if you guys want to help support the channel too, and you want to buy things like the little mug that I got here, uh, we have a little online marketplace, a little online store that you guys can check out. 
I'll leave a little link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But uh, yeah, thank you for coming out today and spending the day with us. Uh, you know, it's uh, just a beautiful way to spend the day out in the bush shooting chickens, getting chaga, and letting dogs run around and just enjoying life. But anyways, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button down in the corner. Leave us a comment or two. Maybe head out to the woods. Tell me how your day went. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Well, no hot dog roast is uh, complete without giving your dog some hot dogs. Rocky, easy now, buddy. Texas, little daisy. There you go, guys. <laughs>